We love music. We love music. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today we are discussing about the best songs in 2017 as you have read in the title. Uh, I'm giving out 55 songs uh, and we're gonna do it real quick because uh, I actually recording this for the second time already but uh, that, that video was like a 40 minute long video so I was like you know what nobody's gonna watch that uh, video so uh, let's just uh, without explanations let's, let's just uh, hit all those songs you will just know what are best songs in my opinion of 2017 and number 55 uh, we have uh, a strong single i decided to uh, start with a, song, a strong single j balvin and willie william mehente at number 54 we have uh, luis fonson and Didi yankee despacito featuring justin bieber um at 53 we have cardi b incredible cardi b with borak yellow at number 52 we have eminem walk on water featuring beyonce at uh, 51 we have uh, 21 Savage with bank account At number 50 we have Frank Ocean Chanel At 49 we have uh, Mask on Fuck it, Mask off <laughs> you know? uh, At 48 we have Keisha Spraying At 47 we have um, Brazilian artist uh, Anita and Pablo Vitar featuring uh, in Major Lazer's song Sua Cara uh, At number 46 we have uh, 2 Chainz It's a vibe it's a vibe. Uh, Jenny Aiko on the chorus, you know, uh, also titled All Sign and Trey Songs featuring in that song. Uh, at 45, we have Marky Bassi's Plot Twist featuring Kyle. At 44, we have Kyle himself, uh, actually, no, featuring Liliati. I Spy with a Little Lie. At 43, we have ASAP Mobs Wrath featuring ASAP Rocky, Playboy Cardi, Quavo, Lil Uzi Bird, and Frank Ocean. <laughs> at number 42, we have Kaigo. This town featuring Sasha Sloan. At 41, we have Brock Hampton's uh, face uh, from Saturation 1. At number 40, we have Miguel. Uh, I look skywalking on this haters. Featuring uh, Travis Scott, uh, someone's name is Skywalker. Uh, at number 39, we have uh, Demi Lovato. You don't do it for me anymore. Um, you know, for me, it was the best song from this album, uh, Tell Me You Love Me. But uh, of course, there were dope tracks, and uh, as I mentioned already, in the best albums of 2017. Uh, at 38, we have Ed Sheeran's I'm in love with the shape of you. At 37, we have uh, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, <laughs> Gucci Gang, Lil Pump with uh, Gucci Gang. Uh, at 36, we have uh, Logic's Everybody. At 35, we have Sam Smith Burning. Uh, also, best song for me. Although, uh, it was, you know, I was fighting which song is the best uh, in my head uh, too good at goodbyes or palace uh, but i ended up choosing burning at number 34 i believe we have j Khaled's shining featuring beyonce and jay-z i just love the uh lyrics from the thing uh this camera is unfocused just as i am uh it's still unfocused now it's focused <laughs> uh, i just love the lyrics um money doesn't make me happy we smile for a whole nother reason you know definitely good track uh, Nerd in Rihanna's uh, Lemon at 33, dope track, uh, especially Rihanna's performance over there. At 32 we have Charlie Puth, how long has this been going on? Ooh, 31, Camila Cabello, Havana. At 30 we have Charlie XCX, I was thinking, ah, I was dreaming, ah, uh, no, the lyrics already messed up in my head, but uh, boys basically. Um, Miley Cyrus, uh, Malibu at 29. At 28 we have uh, I was up late night ball and <laughs> been safe was big fish featuring Juicy J. Uh, at number 27 we have uh, Magic Jordan's in My Imagination featuring Division. The reason I having this song, um, you know, uh, because you know maybe even though like there were kind of, sort of better songs uh, than this one, although I have listened to this song. 25 times straight on repeat uh, after it came out. Uh, this, I'm gonna only have this song uh, from Magic Jordan and Division, uh, even though I enjoyed both uh, albums from this artist. I'm gonna, because of the limitation of 55 songs, uh, I, will ha I will only have my imagination on here from this both artists. Um, I gotta say, like, uh, I was pretty shocked by not including some some songs uh, because I had like a list of more than 100 songs <laughs> initially but then I compressed it to 55 and it was like kind of um, sad to not include some sort of songs but anyway this list is I'm 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 glad with this list so far uh, really 
excited to share with, with you. Uh, at number 26 we have uh, Maroon 5's uh, What Lovers Do featuring SZA. At number 25 we have Jay-Z's The Story of OJ. Uh, at number 24 we have Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone's City of Stars. A dope uh, movie, dope song, uh, enjoyed it a lot. At 23 we have Lana Del Rey's um, Nuts for Life featuring The Weeknd. At number 22 we have 9-11 slash Mr. Lonely featuring Frank Ocean and Steve Lacey. Um, uh, and now there is an exception to like only to have like one artist and uh, one song. We're having at 21 also another song by Tyler the Creator who that boy featuring is Rocky. The reason I'm having those two songs because you know I al always listen to 911 Mr. Lonely in my opinion best track uh, on this uh, album uh, in a unit to, with some other track initially it was with Who That Boy uh, but then when the album came out uh, after track 9 with, with I Ain't Got Time you know there was a transition to 911 Mr. Lonely so I was like you know I, I don't want to have it 911 uh, Mr. Lonely by itself I want to have it in a unison with some other track and also um, you know it's kind of good for this playlist uh, you know I was listening to my own playlist this playlist uh, you know these days and it was quite good to have them both and also uh, I will try to make a playlist on Spotify uh, check for that in the description box or in the comments uh, for the link if you wanna if you're interested check out this playlist and listen to the songs at number 20 we have Brockhampton again, uh, another exception because Brockhampton uh, released three saturations uh, and blessed us, uh, made a great year for us uh, just because of Brockhampton's music, you know, it was a great year. Um, from saturation to Swamp, uh, in my opinion, best track. Um, enjoyed it the most. Uh, at number 19 we have Charlie Puth Attention. At number 18 we have Oh, another by the way exception. I couldn't not resist having two songs by Charlie Puth in this list. At number eighteen, we have uh, Daniel Caesar "Get You" featuring Kali, uh, which is Freudian was a great album, and "Get You" is only one piece of uh, masterpiece. Uh, that was that was great, uh, great song as well. Uh, at number seventeen, we have Katy Perry's "Swish Swish Bash" featuring Nicki Minaj. At number sixteen, we have uh, "Beautiful Incredible." Um, Caesar and uh, incredible Love Gilore song featuring Terry Scott. Uh, at number 15 we have DJ Khaled's Wild Thoughts featuring Rihanna and Bryson Tiller. At number 14 we have Selena Gomez's Fetish featuring Gucci Mane. Uh, also Bad Liar was a dope track as well um, but I had to choose uh, only one uh, so it was Fetish. At number 13 we have DNA's uh, DN Kendrick Lamar's DNA, uh, dope track, amazing, fantastic. I was, I was enjoying it hella heavy when it came out. Uh, at number twelve we have uh, Drake's Passion Fruit. Uh, the reason I'm including Passion Fruit, <coughs> uh, more life, uh, you know, uh, provided us a lot of great tracks to listen to. At least for me, you know, I, uh, this project was really good, and I. Um, enjoyed it um, for me actually honestly if I will be honest Blam was better sort of than Passion Fruit I was listening to Blam and get it together track more than Passion Fruit uh, but I chose Passion Fruit because it's like um, sort of the biggest track from More Life you know everybody everybody was enjoying Passion Fruit number 11 we have my Bad and Bougie, yeah, <laughs> the Bad and Bougie um, Migos featuring Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, at number 10 we have uh, Daylight, Childish Gambino, Redbone, uh, fantastic track, although it was released in 2016, I decided to include this uh, song uh, in this list because um, it was very popular in 2017, like a lot of people actually discovered the song in 2017 and it became a meme in 2017. Uh, so, and the production is so unique, so fantastic, so adorable, so uh, unusual and interesting in its, in its own that, you know, like, that's why it's pretty high in the list. We are in top 10, by the way. Uh, so, Redbone is on 10. 
and number nine we have Bruno Mars that's what I like uh, another track which was released in 2016 but became very popular in 2017 um, and I was listening to it a lot in 2017 so um, I didn't know that I'm gonna enjoy it that much <laughs> honestly but I was enjoying it a lot because like it grew on me in 2017 when everybody was listening to it uh, and the the video came out sort of thing like it, when it was everywhere I uh, it grew on me and I enjoyed it much more than maybe initially when it was on in the album uh, so at number eight we have feel it still Portugal the man uh, another dope fantastic unusual recording unusual song uh, you know something out of the blue something cool uh, that's why it's pretty high on the list as well um, I was enjoying this track a lot at number seven we have uh, Kelly Harris feels featuring Pharrell Williams Katy Perry and Big Sean uh, definitely a fantastic track and it reminds me of uh, Pharrell Williams because I'm happy clap alone da, da, da. Uh, it was just like giving me happy wipes uh, it was a very positive song for me I was excited every time to listen to it um, and my friends know it like I was very excited and I was like dancing in the car or whenever we were listening to this track like um, you know my friends know that I enjoy this track a lot at least um, well deserved spot in the top 10 at number 6 we have Paramore um, unexpectedly but yeah Paramore's Hard Times is pretty high on this list as well because uh, like it's such an enjoyable fun track as well uh, for me and like uh, definitely you know when you have like hard times you just play the song and it's like you fight it you fight it you know like you fight those hard times with like positive approach and you're just like hard times like it's just like so dope like so fun uh, amazing track uh, at number five sign of the times uh, probably uh, one of the, or well, one of the best, or if not the best, performance of 2017. Um, like, it was such a fantastic recording. Uh, it was very powerful uh, vocals, very powerful song. It's by itself, like the the music, the melody, like the climax, like and like, and then like at the end, like when it's like when it became so dramatic. Like there's the tension releases finally with that with that piano like dun 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 like at the, at the end such an adorable such an amazing song uh, at number four we have uh, Brockhampton's Boogie uh, from Saturation Three um, yeah I decided to choose Boogie even though I enjoy the whole album I love every song <laughs> from Saturation Three their best project uh, I decided to choose Boogie because like. Uh, the lyrics are kind of cool over there. I mean, everywhere is cool, but um, in here they are bragging about being the best boy band since One Direction, and like they, they it was like their first single. They came out very strong, very unexpectedly. Uh, the sound was different, so I just decided to choose Boogie. Uh, at number three, we have Calvin Harris Slide featuring Frank Ocean and Migos. Uh, the song I was listening to it all year long. The song I was listening to this uh, all year, so of course, like it's gonna be in top three. Um, dope track, enjoy like every single instrumental. Frank Ocean's performance, as usual, like I love Frank Ocean, Migos, great as well. Uh, like one of the best tracks for me in 2017. Uh, last night's weekend, uh, but to bounce back at number two, Big Sean bounce back uh, again like uh, such a addicting track to me uh, and I love the message uh, definitely was helping me to sort of um, like fight back uh, when I was down you know like I, I gotta stand up you know like I gotta fight back like I gotta um, do things right I still I, I should not give up sort of thing like this track was helping me um, you know, be stronger. Uh, and uh, number one, who is number one? Uh, well, Bob is pretty consistent, so in his decisions. So 
uh, he's gonna choose uh, the song from the best album of the year in his opinion right so uh, it's gonna be a song from them by Kendrick Lamar and it's humble because you know one of the best uh, one of the uh, strongest singles of 2017 as well um, and it's just that good <laughs> dope track amazing track I was listening to uh, all year since it came out well all I wouldn't claim it all year because like this was released in April uh, and I gotta say I probably listened to slide more than humble but you know just like just the recording itself just the amazing flows and like unusual production and Kendrick Lamar's flow like everything and the message is just like so dope that I could not deny having it at the number one spot so this is my list uh, thank you very much for this year by the way uh, thank you for all your support 2017 was definitely a really good year because of you guys I love how we interact between each other I love how we um, you know stay strong together like we um, com come to this channel and like talk to each other like uh, check out new music together and I love those people who comment pretty frequently that's how I know that you guys enjoy my channel you know like uh, certain people uh, I have at this point that um, comment pretty frequently and I'm like okay now I know you guys like and then now um, uh, I can even like be friends with you like uh, with some people actually you know uh, we are friends on Facebook or like Instagram or snapchat and we talk to each other. So that's definitely dope I I love This year because I am able to just like share my thoughts on music and it's just so fantastic um, and Yeah <laughs> Nothing else to add. It's just like so good like so powerful so amazing like I have a channel <laughs> which has like oh, which has a following and that's amazing thank you thank you uh, we had a great year and 2018 will be dope as well uh, maybe even better we'll see 2017 was great on music a lot of interesting dope tracks dope collaborations dope albums dope singles uh, and we're excited for 2018 uh, Happy New Year, everyone! Uh, eat those uh, delicious snacks or foods, whatever you have in your house. Enjoy this time. Uh, let's fucking have a rest, <laughs> you know, from all of these uh, chores and uh, bad things uh, in politics. What happened? Like, like let's just uh, have a great time with our family, friends, and. Uh, significant others by the way I'm really jealous if you have a significant other because that's um, that's uh, the most beautiful thing love all right hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel I'll see you guys in the next one Spaka. higher of feeders and arrivederci adios ciao ciao how you are what office this camera is just on <laughs> you goodbye jingle bell jingle bell jingle bell Jingle bells